Hey, folks. Got a viewer writing in who wants to upgrade his 7100 simply for better video capability, better video quality. We've got uh, Tone. I hope I'm saying that right. He's uh, writing in. He says, Hi, Matt. Love your videos on YouTube. I've been into photography for a while now as an amateur. Recently, I've been considering a switch from my Nikon D7100 to another system, and I'd love to hear your opinion about that. Some background. I started with a Nikon Dimage X when I was young, next to Nikon D40, sold it for a D90, and now for several years, I have a D7100. So I've been into the Nikon system for a while now, and I'm really happy with the stills capabilities of that system. Currently own a Sigma 17-50 f2.8, Nikon 35 f1.8G, Nikon 50-1.8G, and a Sigma 50-150 f2.8. I love the image quality of the 17-50, to which is my main lens, but I also enjoy the sharpness and portability of the primes. Although the 50-150 to gives me a good range for portraits, I rarely use this lens because of the weight. I really love the quality of the stills and functionality of this body. The portability is okay, although the Sigma glass is fairly heavy. A lighter system for holidays would be nice. Now my main issue, I've mainly used my Nikon for stills, but with two young kids, one and three years old, I also want to capture some videos. I've already started with video on my D7100 and invested into a Rode microphone for better, better audio quality. Quality of video and audio is sufficient for me. However, I'm shooting video in manual focus and that is quite difficult. Recently, I've tried a Canon 70D and I was thrilled with the ease of use of this system regarding video. This is exactly what I look for in usability for video, but I don't want to step down in quality and functionality regarding photography. I'm not that thrilled about the quality of the STM lenses of Canon. I do love the Fuji lineup. Uh, I'm also selling all my Nikon equipment. What are my best options in your opinion? I'm considering currently the Canon 80D with a Sigma 17-50. to Is this a good lens combination for video? Fujifilm X-T20 with the 18-50 kit lens. Maybe too small? Question mark. Fuji X-T2 with the 18-55 to kit lens. Lacking a touch screen? Question mark. Or wait for a Nikon DSLR with good autofocus? question mark love to hear from you best regards tone so uh thank you very much for your question interesting interesting question and i get that because 7100 is a great camera great photography camera but if i was wanting to shoot video with it i wouldn't be too inclined to do that myself um some notes i have here on your options canon 80d um with the good lens, you're asking, is a Sigma 17 to 50 a good lens for video? I'm thinking no. I'm thinking not a great lens for the dual pixel AF system. You're going to want a, a lens that sticks with, um, like a, a Canon OEM lens is going to work best on that, especially an STM lens. I know you, you, you said you're not a fan of the STM lenses, but uh, I've got some great results with them, and I really like them, and I, I think you should stay with one, especially to get the most out of the dual pixel AF, which is that beautiful follow focus during video that you're, you were liking so much on the 70D. The X-T20 with the 18-55 to 55 kit lens, you said maybe too small. I don't think so. Um, I like it. There it is there with the 50 on it. There's the 18-55. to 55. I like the size of it. I don't think it's too small. Um, I really do like this camera. I think it's, it's one of my favorite APS-C cameras. I love the X-T20. Um, so I, and, and it's got a great autofocus system as well. Fuji's really improved that for video follow focus. So uh, for me, I mean, it's a personal choice. Me, I don't think it's too small. I don't think it's too tiny. I like it. I like the, all the dials, the command dials. Uh, I think it's a cool looking camera, and I really like the X-T20. X-T2 with the 18-55 to kit lens, lacking a touchscreen. Uh, yeah, I think the X-T20 is a better choice. I just think it's all around better value. I think you get more for your money, more bang for your buck. Not knocking the X-T2. I just really like how much value is built into the X-T20. You get basically 90% of what you get in X-T2 for a lot less money. And then waiting for a Nikon DSLR with good autofocus. Yeah, you can do that, but you're going to be waiting a while. I mean, it sounds like now we're not going to see the new mirrorless until next year in the spring. So are you prepared to wait a year for that? If you are, that's fine, uh, but we still don't know how it's going to perform. You could get something now and then trade back to Nikon if you want. I guess if you're selling lenses, though, that's going to be costly. At the moment, I think your best option is either the X-T20 or the 80D with some STM lenses. Um, I think there's some great lenses out there from Canon. I actually really like the 18-135. to It's not a fast lens, but it's a great all-rounder. You pair that with a 50, and you've got a really fast 50 to go with it for portraits, and then a great all-round lens. The 10-20 uh, to is a great wide. The... Um, 
55 to 250 is a good inexpensive lens. If you want to step into something better, the 70 to 200 f4 is really good. Um, so it's just a question of, of which way to go there. The X-T20 does give you 4K video and some really, really nice lenses. Uh, this this kit lens here is my favorite kit lens of all time, this 18 to 55 f2.8 to 4. Um, really good. So between the two, go get your hands on them in the store. Play with them. See what you like better. Uh, you can't really go wrong with either. Um, and you're going to like that more for video, either of them. Perhaps maybe the Canon a little bit more for the dual pixel AF. But the, the Fuji's really come a long way with that. Uh, and I'm not going to say maybe, I'm, I don't know if I'd say it's on par, but it's very close, much better than Nikon. Uh, and you do get 4K in the X-T20 and some beautiful lenses. So throw it back to our viewers. Which way would you guys go here out of all the options? You know, are you like me? You think the, either the X-T20 or the ADD? Would you look at the X-T2? Is there another option here? Let us know in the comments below. Let's help out our viewer here. Um, think through his purchase. Uh, which way would you go, guys go and why? Looking forward to seeing your comments in the comments. And uh, thanks for your question. Hope this has helped. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.